I was trying to do like a real funny horn. It just didn't work in my favor. Hey everybody, it's your boy Maddie Rants here, here for another installment at Matthew's Rants, Raves and Reviews. We need to get into Dragula. We had to wait too damn long. I know I was going through some withdrawals too over not seeing bitch pudding in the rest of the gang. It felt like I just said Scooby in the gang, but that's not really what I meant. No, I didn't. But I am excited the show came back. We got the reunion. The shade was real. We can get to it. But I got to tell you, all I was really feeling the Boulay brothers during the reunion. They were shutting shit down. Every time someone was interrupting somebody, ah, <laughs> loved it. So let's get into the reunion. And I also want to talk about what is to come with a uh, better choice of words there. Let's try that again. I will let you know at the end of this video what I have in store for you <laughs> for the next few months with this channel. So for those who are subscribers, mwah, I love your baby so much. For new people, hey, come on, come on in to the Maddie Rance train. Choo-choo train, gonna choo-choo train. I, I have nothing else past that. Go ahead and do me that favor. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and let's get into it now. They do, listen, the Boulay brothers never disappoint with having a great intro into the episode. Never have disappointed. This whole, we're getting the uh, dead bodies out the meat locker bit was so cute. The basic look with the nice red pump, I enjoyed it. But we were all shocked to see Meatball. I was like, oh, hey Meatball, hey! <laughs> it was nice to see Meatball. I will say it was good to see her uh, put those acting skills to great use. They had this great runaround number. Oh, it was it was good shit. So Boulay Brothers, you know, I love it. And I think, ugh, I wish Drag Race did it, but I'm like, no, Drag Race is its own thing. Let the Boulay Brothers and Dragla have this. So please continue with the theatrics as a fan of the show. Please, 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 please. We all remember the first episode, you know, where they rose them from the dead. You are monsters up for this Dragula super monster crown. And they went to that boudoir room and it was, I read you, you read me. We're not a big family. I can't stand your guts. You tried me on the back. I'm gonna get you, stab her back. I, listen, that wasn't the best rhyme, but I made that copy. It's mine, Maddie Rance did that, but listen. Yeah, it, it was it was some it was hardcore. And that's why a lot of us were living for this season because that drama was there and it was stuff that was deep seated from the past that was just being pulled up into the show. It wasn't just we just saw her and I didn't like her, except for, you know, Kendra really hating how bitch pudding looked when she got out of her um bag as the Beyonce reject look. I didn't really hate bitch pudding that much in the beginning. And I'm trying to remember, did I hate her? Did I not like her based on how they, uh, see, I, I start to think of things like, you know, when they put you on the, when you, um, you start to think of things when you watch a show and how your mind plays to who you like based on how they're portrayed on camera. So if someone's given the bitch edit, you might not like them as much or you may relate to them if you think you're that bitch. But if it's something else, you know, let's say um, Erica got the friend edit. You know, I don't want to say she got the friend edit, but everyone wanted to be Erica's friend. Let's be real. She was really nice. She spoke the truth. And she had a very interesting and different look and concept that nobody was bringing to this t a stage the way she was bringing it. She wasn't just bringing video game, anime, manga, like, girl down. She wasn't just doing that. She was giving you 8-bit, honey. She was giving you flat Nintendo, like, <laughs> side-scroller tees. That's what I liked about Erica. It was it was so much, but you you fell in love with her. And even though she stayed a couple of times where you're like, okay, honey, you've been in this elimination several times, you were rooting for her to still stay and prove herself. Unlike other people who you just ready to see them go and you already know we can name about two of them right now. Uh, they also showed the audition tapes. Disasterina's was pretty funny. I was stuck on bitch pudding and bitch pudding. This is me as a gamer to you. If you have a PSN, 
Let me know right now, bitch pudding. I want to play you online because you were playing Marvel vs. Capcom 3. I was pressed. It wasn't Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom 3. I'm like, so she doesn't have the one that corrected the issues with the first one and doesn't have the extra people? I was nervous. I said, maybe that's just what she wanted to play right now. But as a gamer, I was like, uh, why is that that copy? <laughs> no shade anybody that plays that version of it. I just personally live and breathe for Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom 3. I'm mad at Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite. That is a whole nother video. Uh, random insert. If y'all want me to do a gamer video, G-A-Y mer <laughs> video, let me know because I play video games like a mother. Super Smash Brothers. I can, just, I can go down the list. So let's get back to it because I will talk about video games forever. But bitch, yeah, I need to know. I need to know. Because I was, I was like, girl, and look at her team. I, okay, stop. <laughs> now, when everyone started talking, and then Mana Kiki started to speak and she was just slurring all her words. I was like, it can't be just drunk. And then when they when she brought up Xanax, I said, oh, this girl's under the influence for real, for real. She's popped a couple. Because she was slurring and just loud and interrupting and everybody else had their moments. But this one over here, like you could hear her through the whole episode doing all that and shit. I was like, what the fuck? What is this? And it is crazy. The taller Boulay brother. Uh, 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 um, um, I'm not gonna ask you again, but you're not gonna interrupt me one more time, all right? You're gonna let me speak. Cause she was speaking. And then Mana Kiki just was like, well, you know, me and James have been really, we have gotten so, well. I don't wanna talk about that no more. I don't wanna talk about that no more. <laughs> I was enjoying that the whole episode. Y'all, please tell me you were still living for that the whole reunion. The Boulay brothers were not letting nobody get away with the, mm, nothing of the fuckery was given. Then nope, nope, nope. Of course they start to bring up issues that happened in the past and you know, this person here and there, you know, how you feel about what happened with them and all that good stuff, you know, cause we want to know, how do you still feel about certain things? When they brought up Kendra and they brought up that rock episode, with the whole issue with, oh, she's not there for rehearsals and practices. Now, Kendra Onyx, Kendra Onyx. Now, I was, I, I was a fan of yours, and I still am. I'm not, I'm not even gonna take that away. But hear me on this, baby girl. I was not prepared, I was not ready, I was not ready. You were ready. Kendra Onyx came to that reunion ready to read Ready to ready to get a bitch together, and I was I was all for it. I was all for it. It's nothing. <laughs> what was it? You can catch a bread or catch a breath. I don't, I don't remember, child. Uh, we say catch a fade out here in in the south, and some people use other stuff, but uh, she can catch a fade real quick. <laughs> but um, or just get these hands, baby. But you know, I was like, "Ha, oh, okay." Kendra read the. Butternut squash out of Victoria. When Victoria, Vic, now let's now let's be real, because Victoria, I like you, girl, but you did sling. Of, of course, she was like talking about y'all's group and saying, you know, oh my god, uh, it's not my fault. We only had two practices. We did text your girl. Yeah, you didn't, and all that good, sh all that good stuff, right? And Victoria, now, girl, I don't know how you got into it because personally, I don't think she was even like really trying to check for you. But then you said, well, your wig was always falling off, and that's when I said, oh, so she sent for her because she's talking about the group. She was talking about the group. Kendra was talking about the group, not them individually just yet. She got to them later. I'm sorry I have to talk about this one so much, but I was like, oh, she came with the heat. Um, but yeah, Victoria kind of got her a little bit, but Kendra was not phased or pressed. <laughs> it was like an episode of Black Mirror Girl. Didn't know what was going to come out of her mouth. So when she got her, well, Miss Thing, your pants had ripped. I said, now, hold on. I didn't know that. Let's, let's, let's really reel it in. She read, she read. She read him, she read him, she read him. And they were talking, and they were coming back. Let's not be, let's not get it away. Now, James over there was giggling with her comebacks. James, you could have came a little harder because Kendra was trying you. I know y'all are probably all friends, so it's like, girl, we're gonna read, but we're not gonna go too deep. I don't know the tea, but <laughs> that's what I would have assumed. But yeah, Kendra was, um, she she let it have, and I was, I was all for it.
I was all for it. She said, your pants ripped and your pants ripped and you can't even perform. Uh, Miss Thing, what are you talking about? I am a performer. Girl, they said they was asleep on your thing. You are boring, Miss Thing. I was like, oh, 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 oh. She was not having it. She was not having it. Now, one thing I also, I think I uh, rushed over here, they were probably talked about that before Kendra started her read fest, was when they were talking about how James' attitude and him being kind of a bitch and all that type of stuff. And James going, well, that's just my persona. Like, I had put up that guard because I was really scared of all you girls. James, I don't believe that for a Rice Krispie hot minute. I don't. I'm sorry. Love you, but uh-uh. You're scared, so you became an, a, a bitch? No, 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 no. No, 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 no. I think, this is just me, I think, like Kendra said, you can be a bitch. You can be a little rude and a little nasty, a little shady. You, that's just your personality. But you, your intentions are well. You will have a, probably a big heart and you want the best for other people. But every now and then, you just like to throw out some shade and some shuckery and duckery and all that mess. Just because it's funny and a kiki, but that may just be your personality. So I don't know her from a tic-tac on the floor, baby. But I can tell you that from what I saw from James Majesty's Instagram and you know, I started to follow him a little bit more because I said, okay, she came by my page and commented. I said, let me give her some love. And she, I like James, James has, a good, James has a good soul. She can be crazy, but that's James to me. So I thought that was interesting how <laughs> some of them try to label her as a, as a bitch and others were just, well, that's just the persona she's giving when she's in drag. It's a little bit of both, like both in, the same, yeah. So, but you know, shout out to that. Now, I will say, James, I, in most of their looks in general, and I'm kind of going all over the place here, people, so just follow me. This is just talking right now because I'm really not in the zone to go down this line in order. Tell me if you agree with me or not. What did you think of their all of their looks at this dinner table? Because I thought they all looked basic as hell. And I'm thinking to myself, yeah, some of them put together some extra stuff a little here and there, but all their looks were basically daytime hooker or 6 p.m. on the Las Vegas Strip kind of drag. I don't know. I wasn't really feeling it. I mean, a couple of things. Abora's makeup was masterful. I live, I live for that whole look. I just wish the rest of her chest was painted. Of course, Victoria looks sickening. Bitch always got it together. No brows and all, baby. Uh, James's face is beat, but I really, I wanted to tuck bad. That jock strap was not, ooh, it... Ooh, I didn't. Ooh, I didn't like it. I was so focused on junk that I was not focused on anything else that I couldn't appreciate the whole look. I could. I just could not. I was like, "What the fuck is this? Why is she dressed like that?" Um, IDK. But uh, yeah, I was kind of underwhelmed by everybody's look. So nobody's getting a pass here for me. They all kind of gave. Mm, okay, <laughs> all of them. Uh, okay, that's all right. Appreciate it. I mean, you know, Kendra came in some big ass dress, girl. I did not get that at all. Like, girl, what? There you go with this same wig. I said, uh, -uh can't do it. Oh, and before I forget this too, cause this was, this was actually pretty good. Felony Dodger, I feel like you should have had more time on the show. That's one. Two, you did that. <laughs> girl, she got Mana Kiki together, this thing. And it was like, I really had some resentment towards this girl. I couldn't believe she sat there and stayed and she complained the entire time, you know, talking about she needed alcohol. I, I said Xanax. I was like, uh-uh. And she, Felony finished her point. But Felony, you're amazing still. <laughs> Bravo, child. I actually liked your look at the dinner table more than most people that I saw there. So I just thought that was good of Felony to finally get that across. On to the next really interesting situation that took place when Mana Kiki decided that she needed to apologize well, again, or more so, they asked her about the whole, we didn't know that went on bit. <laughs> we do our research for six months, that's it. Okay, you see, you're gonna have to go back a little bit further now because that could have been a really bad problem for y'all if it had not been resolved or, you know, whatever the case may be. I will say that, yes, it was good of Mike Kiki to apologize. But Manakiki was also under the influence during that reunion. I will not let that slide. I'm sorry. I have no, listen, I don't have a problem with people smoking little ganjas. I don't have no problem, no problem with that. Now, pill, all of this stuff, I get concerned. I, I start to worry, because I'm like, well, that's, that's, he that's heavy. Um, it's real heavy. But I gotta say that it was lost in translation a little bit, 
simply because while she was apologizing for what she was saying, she was also saying that no one should look up to me. And that I, I, I don't want people to look up to me and I, I don't want to be a role model. And I feel sorry for people who are looking at me for a role model. And I feel bad for the people who do like me. What? No, nope, apology rescinded. Because you right now need to work on you. <laughs> okay, I'm working on me, baby. But listen, that all that told me is that Monikiki has some serious issues up here that she needs to get out and reflect on and let, let go of. Because for her to, in the same blow, apologize for something, but then go, I'm a horrible person. I've been there, Miss Kiki. And I gotta tell you, that is so victim shit, it's not even funny. And you can't do that. Please don't, please don't. So I appreciate her for apologizing, but um, it was like lost in that. And then I thought it was so funny. One of the Boulay brothers was like, that person who you had gotten into a conflict with, are we talking about Soju? Are we talking about Soju? Just say her name. It's not like you had to pay him for that name being said now, child. It had been nice if Soju's name was at least spoken in that moment. Shit, if I had to been the one with the issue, I wouldn't have been that person. Either. Like, no, say my name. Because that was me, baby. <laughs> It could have, something else could have happened. I don't know. Y'all told me about the whole Soju, uh, Soju thing. And I went and looked that up and then found Soju's video. And I was like, oh, okay. So to me, I just thought, okay, no, <laughs> no, no, no. I'm good, Miss uh, Kiki. But yeah, we got, you got to work some, you got to work some stuff out, baby. I, I understand you definitely, I can feel you're hurting. Um, and I don't like seeing that from anybody on any kind of show. Then we get to Erica Clash bringing up the whole Abora lying situation again. I kind of thought they addressed that already, so I didn't really get why we were talking about it again. And the Boulay brothers also saw that and were like, are we still talking about this? We don't need to talk about this anymore. We didn't need to talk about it anymore. I, I will say though, that Erica did get her together. Abora tried it though, I see that you're still not change, I forget what she said. She said something to the effect of, you're still, you know, not evolved or you haven't grown up. And Erica kind of wore her low and still said, I love you. <laughs> I love that. I love you, but mm, not today. It's not today, Satan. Not today. Uh, but the Boulay brothers ch checked that. And again, this whole episode, I have loved that about them. Baby, they kept it real, including back to Monikiki here. When uh, one of them was like, I'm not gonna kiss your, I'm not gonna kiss your butt, but, and I, I, but I'm gonna tell you about yourself and I'm gonna tell you what you need to fix about you that we like about you. I like this about you, but you gotta fix this. And they brought up the online bullying, not even just online bullying, but bullying in general, especially from this community of gay people as well. Man, we have gone through a lot. Why are we the ones telling people to kill themselves and do all this extra stuff that is so unnecessary, so wrong, so not okay? All right? We got. We honestly have to be better. I, if y'all think that's cute and it's a kiki, please reevaluate everything about yourself. Please, girl. It's never cute. I promise you it's never cute. I know people who are not like that, who see people do that shit in public, and it it's a joke to them. And to them, that person who is making fun of the other ones or being nasty and shade all that, they're the joke, not the people they're talking about. Don't be that. Don't be that. Please, God, y'all need to stop. <laughs> I know we don't like certain people or certain things and, we, and we're really passionate about it, but not to the point to where you're wishing death upon somebody or you're wanting hurt and harm to come to them. Yeah, what's his name is in office and it's, and it's a mess, you know what I'm saying? But I'm not gonna wish that all the most horrible things happened to him. I just wish somebody else was in office. I voted, I hope you did too. We gotta do better next time and leave it at that. And let that man just try, I guess, to do his job. I uh, Try, if he can stop tweeting for five minutes, but it's a whole nother story. It's a whole nother story. Be who you wanna be, believe in what you wanna believe in, Republican, Democrat, whatever. I am so not about to tell you what to do, but just don't bring that hate my way and don't make me have to put my hands up because if I do you're going down and that's how I feel about it now <laughs> off of all that <laughs> I went on a little rant here it's been a while so I needed to speak <laughs> they go into who they think should win right okay the majority of the vote was for bitch the majority of it and honestly we kind of I agree 
I, I, I think it should be Bitch Pudding that wins this season. Would I be surprised if James Majesty won? No. James Majesty did a good job throughout the whole season. Would I be surprised if Victoria won? Mm, a little bit. But Victoria has been so consistent and so good with her looks that to me, I don't know if I could just say, I don't know if she would make it based on that, but the whole speech part of it, that is what really was my selling point on why I think this person should win. Now, I don't know if Disasterina was trying to throw James a bone and say that she should win because it was a little awkward. I mean, Victoria really didn't get that many votes either. It was more so, I think bitch should win, but I could see Victoria winning. And I see this person winning, but I can see that person winning. But James didn't get any love. And I thought that was kind of booty a little bit. I mean, come on, James deserves, it, he deserved at least another person saying that he should have won, in my honest opinion. But um, the speeches came up. James' speech was very, I'm tough, everybody hates me, but it's made me stronger, and I'm just trying my best. Okay, okay, I'm not, I'm not mad, okay. Uh, second one, that was Victoria's speech. I did not, mm -mm. Victoria, it was, I'm growing, I'm changing, I'm growing, I'm changing. You say I have no personality, but it's at the door and it's knocking. It's not open though. Why would you say that? It's knocking at the door. Girl, you tell them people, my personality has already busted through the window. It has fallen, has fallen to its death and been re resurrected and is murdering everybody. That's what my personality is doing right now, okay? Like, it was knocking at the door with such a tease. It Don't tease us anymore. They don't want to tease. They want you to be full-fledged Erica... Oh, oh, <laughs> Uh-oh. They want you to be full-fledged Victoria Elizabeth Black. And I do, too, because I live for your looks and everything. I just... <sighs> She's so chill, which is great, but it's not, I don't know. Victoria's everything though, so whatever, right? Uh, now, bitch, <laughs> her bitch pudding speech was, <laughs> y'all, I'm just so happy to be here. <laughs> it was that kind of, it was that kind of uh, just, and um, I'm with her on that. It's been a pleasure watching bitch pudding through the whole season, you know. She was attacked at the beginning and, uh, like she was trying to get her point across to before she was interrupted by the Boulay brothers, I'm assuming for time. Um, I went through a lot when I got there. But after all of that, I have survived and now I'm in the top three. I pushed myself through, da 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 da. You did, mama. And I am also proud of you as well because, man, they were coming for her hard the first couple episodes, but she came through and showed her ass out every fucking time. So. Shout out to you, bitch pudding. Shout out to you, Victoria Elizabeth Black. And shout out to you, James Majesty. Y'all deserve to be top three. I said it. Y'all can be mad at the top three if you want to. I think they deserve it. Um, it could have also have been a bore with maybe two of those slots, possibly. Had things been different for other people, yeah, they could have been in there too. But this is our top three babies. And who do you want to win? Who do you want to win now? So next week, we get another good floor show. We're going to get a good good floor show I'm, I'm, I'm praying <laughs> uh from all of them next week and i'm excited about that so you all y'all tune in here wednesday morning afternoon the time i get this uploaded uh depending on where you're at in the world and we will have our last episode of dragula season two i'm sad but guess what drag race is around the corner children and we oh me and jamar 84 will be covering it so get ready every, it's probably gonna be Thursday nights. I'm just gonna upload them in the evening time really late. I'm, I'm not even gonna wait till Friday morning. I'm just gonna upload it Thursday night because I know y'all love to get this jush and this tea real quick. So we're gonna do that. Um, I'm also gonna say that guess what other show I'm gonna include on the channel now. Because everyone's like, Matt, we need another show. We need another show. Okay, cool. I watched America's Next Top Model last night. I'm sold. Thank you, Tyra Banks, for coming back. I will be covering that as well. So expect also, not this Wednesday like we're doing now for Dragula. This is Dragula time. But next uh, Wednesday morning, not only will I have the Dragula um, finale posted with my review, but I'm also going to do America's Next Top Model for the episode two and do a quick recap of episode one this weekend. So this weekend, you may see a random video pop up from me. I hate that watch. Baby. So 
so yes, Wednesdays will now be America's Next Top Model. Wednesday mornings will now be America's Next Top Model. So Wednesday mornings will go from Dragula to America's Next Top Model. And then, of course, Thursday nights once America's Next Top Fuck. <laughs> All right, so remind yourselves, Wednesday mornings, uh, next Wednesday morning is going to be the last, it's gonna be, all right, so remind yourselves, the finale recap, it's not coming out. All right, so remind, mm -mm. so remind yourselves that Wednesday morning, the Dragula finale will be the last episode we do for that until next season, Boulay Brothers, and then America's Sex Top Model will be the new Wednesday morning rant and review show so get ready for that so i do want to thank you for watching and tuning in oh i totally forgot that i did miss the housewives of atlanta so that review was not posted and i do apologize so the following monday this so this upcoming monday i'm going to be uh doing my review for that thank you for tuning in please remember to like and subscribe tell your friends tell your family tell your side pieces i don't know but bring them over here to Maddie Rance. You know, we like to talk, we like to gab, we just like to keep it going with words and verbs and nouns and pronouns and adjectives and all that good stuff. So thanks again for tuning in. I've said it so many times and I'll say it again because I really mean it. Y'all have yourselves a great hump day.